Hey guys, so today I'm excited and also somewhat scared because I'm going to be taking my acoustic violin and electrifying it. Woohoo! So this is my violin, which will be amplifying. I have, I have this TRS input jack. I've got a shielded audio cable. I bought a lot. Too much. And um, this piezo buzzer. Um, so basically to make this, it's really simple. You really just need that piezo element, some solder, a soldering iron, uh, some shielded audio cable, and um, an input jack. If you want to go super simple, you just solder them all together in that order. So you solder the piezo element to the shielded audio cable, and then the input jack to the other end of the shielded audio cable. And uh, you got to connect that to your violin somehow. Um, but I wasn't quite so... What's the word? elementary so I decided to build a little preamp as well which I'll show you shortly but just a little note on piezo elements they're super cheap you can find them in buzzers and you can put them on various things and make some really cool sound design sound effects so go make one and have some fun with it all right so my preamp I just followed a schematic that I found online and um, you can just see there's a capacitor some a transistor a couple of resistors and here you can see how it connects to my deck, and now we're gonna meet another guy. This is our industrial designer, Growl. Growl. He's working out how to put stuff in place. That. He's also very antisocial, clearly. And he likes Iron Maiden. And Maideth. Yay! <laughs> Bye. Bye. I mean, close is So I really love these sounds. It reminds me of Star Wars. Such a cute little robot. <laughs> 1605, you gonna remember that? 10.605. Oh, I can remember it. Swak roll. That's really nice. Eh? That's really nice. Yeah, this this works well, so it slides in and out there. And just, it's quite cool. I haven't glued it. So sorry, where are you guys from? I'm just done. From Wales? I'm from Wales. From the 28th. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, so this was really cool. I went to Royal's house in the evening. It was just fixing up some things. We had some wine, some chocolate, some nice ambiance guitar music, and met some guys from Wales. My very awesome neighbor, who's an industrial designer and a owner of a 3D printer, um, designed me this really cool box, which it's going to sit in there and it's going to hold all my little electronics that I've made. I'm trying to figure out which music we're playing. So that's where the, the input jack's going to be. It's going to hold the battery. If you can recognize that tune, let me know. Circuit and then out of the F hole. I have a feeling it's feeder, but I don't know. And I'm going to stick the piezo onto my bridge. All right, so um, yeah, some adjustments, some things didn't fit so well, so I had to resolder some parts, take some parts out. I could try to clean it up a bit, and I also added a little LED light that shows me when the battery is working and when it's not working. I used to tell people, they were like, what's your name? And I'd say, it's Micah. And then they get confused, and they used to call me all sorts of weird and wonderful things. And now I go, my name is Micah, like the hardware store. And everyone knows what I mean. It's wonderful. Yeah, that really is wonderful, Micah. Thanks for that. Okay, so the reason I went there was to get some epoxy. This is me mixing it. I wanted to put it on the piezo element just to kind of seal it all up, as well as on my little preamp. Took a very long time to dry, but that's what it looked like. Assembling this thing was pretty tricky. It's quite a lot of cable that needs to fit in there. But it clips onto the violin, you gotta screw it on there. I've also put a bit of sponge just to protect the instrument. And that's what it looks like, and I think it's really damn sweet. So this is now my final test. Plugging it in into the computer, and uh, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a go. I'm gonna play, and I'm also gonna record it, and then just kind of, I guess it's up to you to compare the sound afterwards. Um, you can see it's working there. Okay, well, I think it works.
Okay, so this is the exact same recording. Just the computer input. Notice here how you can't hear me talking, and this is the really cool part. Um, if you look in the video and you just go back a bit, you see that I finished playing the pedro and I started speaking, but the talking isn't in the recording, and that's because the piezo is a contact mic and it doesn't really pick up my breath or my voice. So thanks for watching, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next week.